Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rechakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the sincere Akim across the globe that's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. Okay, it's Brother Yah Rock back once again. And uh, jumping straight into it, this is 2 Ezra uh, chapter 6, verse 7. All right. 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and 7 Then answered I and said What shall be the parting of sunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first And the beginning of it that follow it? And he said unto me From Abraham unto Isaac And Jacob and Esau were born of him Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau Okay which uh, can be read in uh, Genesis, the 25th chapter. All right. Uh, verse 9, it says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Okay. So, right. And it's the point. It says, For Esau is the end of the world. Okay. And who is Esau? The progenitor of the so-called white people. Okay. Esau, Edom. All right. Okay. So, uh, the scripture says in uh, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Okay. So the wicked being uh, Esau, the so-called white man. All right. Starting with the the uh, the so-called elites. Okay. The, uh, you know, your Rothschilds, Rockefellers. All right. Your, your rich banking families. Okay. Who, who are the ones that cause the shots? Okay. The ones that are in control behind the scenes, okay? That's the wicked that the scriptures speak about, okay? So this present age, you know, that we're in is under the rule of Esau Edom, okay? The wicked, okay? But the prophecy, okay, is that Esau is going to be the end of the world, okay? Which is this current age, all right? So this time that this devil has been in power, is going to come to an end, okay? They're not going to continue to, to reign forever, all right? Uh, as, you know, they believe, or hell, even two-thirds of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, <laughs> pretty much believe the same thing, too, you know? Uh, but anyway, Second Ezra 6 and 9, once again, it says, For Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Okay, Jacob, all right, represents Israel, okay? Which once again consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? We're going to be the ones uh, to be put forth into a position of rulership, you know, uh, in the kingdom of Yahweh Ba'ashom Yahweh Shah, okay? A righteous kingdom, Okay? Uh, a ever a everlasting kingdom, all right. You see, after this devil be taken down, okay. So once again, real quick, Second Ezra six and nine. All right, for Esau is the is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. All right, so we're in a uh, in a period, a transition period, okay, of the kingdom of Esau being uh you know destroyed taken down and you know transferred through the spirit you know now being transferred unto uh yasha all right transferred to israel okay uh real quick precept i have is uh ecclesiasticus 10 and i believe it's eight All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to start a verse ahead. The point is in verse 8, but I'm going to start at verse 7. Ecclesiasticus 10 and 7, it says, Pride is hateful before the Most High, and man, by both, do it one commit iniquity. All right, and the reason why I wanted to bring that out, because who's more prouder than the so-called white man? Okay? Who's more prouder than... Uh, than a nation of Edom, man. Okay, this devil uh, actually believes that his kingdom is going to continue uh, 
to uh to reign forever, man. Okay. You see? You know, this devil goes, you know, around the world, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying, pushing or forcing his influence or his witchcraft or his democracy upon all the other nations. And it forces them to abide by his way. If not, what he go what he what does he do? He goes over there and, and, and bomb you, man. Are and kill and, and destroy. Okay? We got the biggest, baddest military on the earth. You see? You know, we got the uh the world dancing to our tune, so to speak, alright? That's the pride of Esau, man. Okay? He puts himself in a position uh, uh deceiving deceitfully, deceiving the world as if he's the most high power. Okay, what's that in uh Second Thessalonians? Okay, he puts himself in a uh, in a uh, position as if he's the Most High. Okay, it don't you know what I'm saying? Now tell me this devil's not you know that level of pride this devil uh, has, man. Okay, you know, casting the words of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh shot behind him. All right, but at the same in the same breath, this is a God fearing nation, you know, which shows the hypocrisy of this devil. Okay, so going back to the scripture, uh, it says Ecclesiasticus ten and seven. Pride is a, pride is hateful before the Most High, a man, and by both do it one commit iniquity. Okay. Um, verse 8 it says because of unrighteous dealings injuries and riches gotten by deceit the kingdom is translated from one people to another okay so I'm going to read that again it says because of unrighteous dealings uh, injuries and riches gotten by deceit okay the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Okay, so this devil uh, obtained his riches by ultimately putting his hands on the children of Israel. Okay, putting his hands on the apple of the Most High's eye. Okay, you know how was uh, uh you know uh, America obtained? Okay, through rape, robbery, and murder. Okay. The scripture uh, in Habakkuk, the second chapter, you know, says that he is a proud man, need to keep it at home. Okay? You see what I'm saying? And everywhere this devil goes, death and destruction is uh, sure to be there, man. Okay? You see? But uh, once again, it says, uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and 8, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches gotten by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Okay? So, right, Esau's kingdom is coming towards an end. All right? And, you know, our kingdom under Yahweh Bashem Yahweh uh, Shah will be, will be established upon the earth. Okay? But this devil uh, is going to receive his uh, recompense. All right, uh, that judgment, okay, going into captivity, all right, you see, and being under, under subjection unto uh, Israel, okay, as well as the other uh, heathen nations, okay, but our main adversary is uh, Esau Eden, okay, um, you know, so we're in the, uh, the uh, beginning stages of that of that transition happening man okay we seeing uh this devil's uh kingdom slowly crumbling man okay we're getting closer and closer to that uh uh you know to the end of this place man okay so hey i'm gonna uh you know end there man you know so 
Hey, once again, all praise is glory and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechach Radash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the sincere I can push in this word and our truth and sincerity. Shalom.